Okay, hey guys, I think I've got all my little kinks worked out here. I am just going live today as I'm working away on my glue book. And if you can't tell, today's color is yellow. Um, I'm, if you haven't been here before, thanks so much for joining me. Um, this is a little exercise I do to help bust my creative block. And it's just an exercise to help me um, get the creative juices flowing, as well as to remember sometimes what products I have in my stash. I have a large stash behind me. And I find that, yeah, it just really helps me to remember what I have and just kind of get things going. So um, I have here a, a book that I honestly, I just got from Value Village and someone had doodled in a couple pages and I just kind of took those pages out and made it into my glue book. And this is my rainbow glue book. So um, the first thing I have done is I have um, done the color red so the beginning of the um, rainbow red and I just took out pictures from magazines that had red in it and that I kind of felt inspired with and I just glued them down and it got me thinking about um, different textures and different supplies that I can use so this was my red page I did a live um, my very first live not that long ago and I did um, the color orange and this is my orange spread and I really like how it worked out it was kind of you know each page really kind of captures how I'm feeling at the time which is not really what I was going for but it kind of kind of worked for me and I just like on this one here I really like the texture of this um, ceiling um, it was different shapes and I ended up I got a stamp set for my favorite things that I want to use that has some different geometric shapes so um, that was really inspiring for me. What else? Um, yeah, I cut out a picture. Um, I didn't use it on the spread, but it reminded me um, of something that I could do with my alcohol inks. And I thought that would be really fun to use as well. Um, different things to do. So yeah, today is all about yellow. So we're going to open up the next page on my book and I've gone ahead and pulled out from magazines all sorts of different images with yellow in it and nothing really like this one here is just it was just this little yellow kayak that I saw and yellow in buildings and yeah so we're just going to get started here I'm just going to start gluing things down and create my yellow glue book spread and I'm going to take you along for the ride so let's get started if you have any questions please feel free to put them in the chat Otherwise, I'm just gonna kinda do my thing and glue along and give a chat to you guys. Um, I, here in Canada, we had um, Family Day weekend. And, oh, sorry, I got something in my eye. Family Day weekend and Valentine's Day, and I really hope you all enjoyed your Valentine's Day and Family Day off yesterday. Um, I took an extra day off just to have some quiet time. My kids are back at school, and I just wanted a day just for me to, yeah, just really to, have some time for me and do some crafting without um, anybody harassing me. Um, my blog is called Crafting Through the Chaos of Life for a Reason. Usually there's chaos going around me and kids um, bugging me at any given minute. So having some time to myself is a blessing. So let's get started. This page here has some yellow on it. Um, I want to go for textures first. And I have this back here. I think this is honestly it's from National Geographic. I think it is like a virus or something, to tell you the truth. How apropos is that, right? So I really like the texture of it. Uh, maybe it's a cell or something. I don't know. But I'm going to start by cutting this out. And I'm not going to be too particular. So just take any images that you like out of magazines. You can use... Um, Cooking magazines, if you like. Uh, Woman's World is good. Fashion magazines. I just had was given all these National Geographic, so I'm going to use them. Oh, oh, this was on the back side of this. This is the picture ah, that I was inspired with that has been on a couple different pages. Um, I had two books that were the same, and this is the one that reminded me of alcohol inks. And uh, yeah, I just thought I could do some really fun alcohol ink blending and then some lines through it. And this just kind of inspired me. So that's where that, that picture came. Okay, let's get started. So this one I'm going to have to cut down. But I'll cut it after. So I'm just using some Uhu glue. I also have some 
uh, craft bond. What I really like about this craft bond glue is it's repositionable. So if you put it on your project, let it dry for about 30 seconds and put it down, you can actually move it around. Um, otherwise, if you glue it and stick it down right away, it is permanent. So this is kind of handy to have, especially when you're doing stamping and you want, um, you don't have any like creative corners or, or magnets to hold your uh, project down while you stamp. You can just apply some of this, let it dry for 30 to 60 seconds, and then um, you can remove it. So that works out well. So I'm just going to use up the last bit of my Uhu stick here. I have a 3D printer and I need to use the Uhu stick for that, so I have to get more. This is my last one. All right. So this is just, again, like I said on my last video, this is really just embracing your inner kindergartner. Nothing really special about it. You're just finding images that you like and gluing them down. Um, I like this word sun. There's this little butterfly, but as I'm looking at it, it looked yellow in the beginning, but now that I put it with something yellow, it looks more green. So I might save this for my green page. I really like these nuns. I don't know, something about it. And then it kind of goes well with this saying over here, the Lord is my helper. I'm not an overly religious person, but I just, there's something about it that kind of spoke to me. So maybe what I'll do is I will cut these ladies out. I'll use them on the other side and I can put stuff over top. We're going to be layering things. And you can go back if you find images, like say I find an image that I really like for my red page, I can go back and find a spot and stick it on there. There's no rules to this. It's just having fun and again, just getting the creative juices flowing. That's what it's all about. So I'm going to cut, I think, this lady off because she is different than the other ones. So I want to keep consistency. If that makes sense. I don't know. I don't have to be perfect in my cutting. I'm interested to find out what you guys do for your creative blocks or what you do to help get, get inspiration and get things flowing. I think I'm really at the end of this glue. Yeah, that's plastic piece. I'll just throw that away. And I'll pull out this bad boy. Sometimes I get in a real rut and then I find I don't create anything at all. And so this book really helps me to keep creating, even though I don't necessarily have anything in mind to do. It's just a really, yeah, a really fun way to keep doing something, to keep creating. I have a little sign behind me um, that says, be creative. Just doesn't matter what it is you're doing. Just keep making stuff and something cool will pop out of it. All right, I kind of like this. The Lord is my helper, so I'm going to cut that out. Not sure where I'll put it yet, but I'm going to keep that little yellow bit on the end. Maybe I'll put that right down there. I feel like I need a scrap piece of paper to glue on. Pull this out. That way I don't get glue on anything I don't want. So what's everybody up to today? I know later on I've got to do a bit of house cleaning now that the kids are out of the house. I've got to get some things cleaned up, do some vacuuming, laundry. Ugh, laundry. I feel like I've never done laundry. I just bought some new laundry baskets and they're nice tall ones. And I thought, oh, this will be great. I can distinguish what's clean and dirty because my kids try to help and we'll just throw all the clean clothes into a laundry basket and I can't tell if they're clean or dirty. So we're going to put the dirty ones in the tall baskets, the clean ones hopefully folded in the lower baskets. But yeah, I don't know. 
and I thought I was done laundry and then I turn around and one of my kids cleaned their room which basically just means pulled all the junk out and they found a whole bunch of dirty clothes stuffed in their closet under their bed it's a losing battle I cannot keep my kids with their rooms clean like I just I feel like there's no point in even trying anymore I'll, I'll just have to wait and threw that away I didn't want to do that I'll just have to wait until they move out to have a clean house again. I don't know. But I guess I'd rather have happy kids than a clean house. Most days. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have any tricks on how to get your kids to keep their rooms clean. I'd like that too. Make sure you leave me a note below. <laughs> I really like this. I like how this elephant is painted. I think that's really pretty although it's the elephant probably didn't appreciate that um, art wise I appreciate the elephant so um, I think I want to cut just his face sorry little elephant I'm just gonna cut your face don't really want those people in there it's amazing what you can do with animals although like I said I'm sure the elephant didn't really appreciate being all painted up been so cold here in Calgary oh my goodness I cannot wait for it to warm up it's really sad when like minus 15 or minus 20 is like warmed up it's been so super cold all right I like elephants I think they're amazing animals. I actually got to ride an elephant when I was five years old. The circus came to town and they were giving elephant rides and I got to sit on this elephant and ride it and it was pretty cool. I don't know if I would do it again today, but near five it was pretty cool. I'm going to cut this little kayaker out. We were spending some time as a family yesterday for family day and had my mom here for the weekend and we were playing some games so we played some new games we were playing phase 10 and that was fun my son and I played that and then as a family we played Dutch Blitz which was oh my goodness it was mayhem want to talk about chaos wow that was like hands flying everywhere if you haven't played Dutch Blitz, um, I recommend it. It's a lot of fun. We ended up kind of modifying the rules um, just to make it easier because I have a, a daughter who kind of has troubles following, um, following games and how they work. And um, she has a, a learning disability, so sometimes it's hard for her to um, understand what's going on and she can get frustrated easily. So we modified the rules just a little bit for her. And then it worked out well for my husband because he always wins at games. So he was winning and I really like the, just the texture of this house. So I'm just gonna cut that part off. And I might add another window to this. Just a little collage making. I was watching this gentleman on YouTube. I can't remember his name, but wow, some of the stuff that he creates with magazines and the different artwork he creates with collages and stuff. It's just amazing. It's so beautiful. And who would have thought, right? Like, I think we forget some of these things that we do when we're younger in art class. And it's fun to bring them back out. All right. I really like this part of this moth or butterfly, whatever it is. I'm going to kind of cut that out a bit. All right. So I'm interested in knowing if you guys have, we're always looking for games, if you have any fun games that you'd like to recommend. Um, we like spending time as a family and playing board games every now and then. We play Catan, Ticket to Ride. Um, what else do we have? Clue. We played Clue last weekend. Um, where do I want to put this? 
I'll put that down here. Got some cheese and eggs. I don't know if I want to put those on there. I'm really into texture today. Like I like the texture of this water. Maybe I'll cut the little fish out. Don't need him. See if I can layer that in here like that. Maybe I'll layer it like that. All right. Glue that on here. I'd really like it to get warmer. I want to go to our zoo. I haven't been to our zoo. We went to Zoo Lights right before Christmas. And I want to get back there. And I'm hoping that the weather will warm up for that. Um, I really like all these tulips. This is from the Netherlands. I like what this says here. We are the display window of the bulb industry. Like, I would love, love, love to get some Netherland tulips for my garden. I think that would be a lot of fun. Have some, I had some really beautiful, um, like Canadiana ones. They were um, white and with red. Oh, they were so pretty. I hope they come up again this year. Oh, I really like this too. How am I going to fit that in there? I might have to cover up some of my elephant. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks sparks. What is this from? This is from the Grand Coulee Dams. Sparks fly to Grand Coulee Dam during repairs. Oh, so doing some welding or something. I just thought it was really cool. Maybe I'll put that up here. Some fireworks on top of the Top of the nuns. You'd appreciate watching some fireworks. All right. Oh, and I like this. I thought this was cool. Let's go ahead and cut that little circle out. I'm really into shapes and textures today. I don't know what it is. Kind of looks like the sun to me. Maybe I'll put that up over here. I thought I had the word sun too, somewhere around here. What else do I have? Oh, I have this little yellow warbler that's caught in a net. It's sad. Poor little warbler. I don't know why he's in the net. Hopefully they're just trying to do it to learn something and not Hurt them. Put them right here. All right. And some yellow fish. I don't think I'm going to use him. Oh, look at this. I like this guy. This little yellow octopus. Octopi. There's more on one page. It's octopi. Little octopus. Let's cut him out. I like the blues on him, too. And good morning, Mom. Good morning. Got my mom staying over one more night. I snuck downstairs to do this live before she woke up, so she was having a good old sleep. I didn't want to wake her up. Okay. Wow, this guy's got a lot of legs to cut out. I'm fascinated by all the sea creatures. And just to think the number of creatures living in the ocean that we don't actually know about yet. There's still tons of different species that I'm sure way down in the depths we haven't discovered yet. Where do I want to put you? I think you kind of need to go there. Let's do that. I feel like I always work on one page more than the other. And each page for me feels very different. 
a different feeling to it. Let's put you right here. I might have to cut some of your tentacles off later, but that's okay. And I really like this gold, but I'm not sure. This one I pulled out because it had like a yellow Lay's chip bag. Let's give the nuns some chips. Why not? It's our page. We can do whatever we want. Use whatever images inspire you. I like the, the sound of a chip bag. That's kind of weird, I know, but. Stick you down here. Stick you with the nuns. All right, what else do I have? That little guy is so cute. Little transparent guy. Okay. What else do I have? This I just cut out for the yellow, but I have lots of yellow going on, so I don't think I need that. I like this because of you. Maybe I'll stick that on here because I don't have any words yet on this side. I usually like to stick on some words. And so let me guys know, let me guys know me fail English, that's impossible. Words are hard. Um, let me know what sort of crafts you guys like and want to see. Because um, I do all sorts of crafts. I do crocheting. I like to paint. Acrylics, watercolor. What would you like to see on my next live? Let me know. Leave me a message. This is a little honeycomb, bee honeycomb. Let's stick that. I think I want to cut that out a little more. Yeah, I'd be interested in to know what you guys would like to see for my next live. Do you want to see my next page, which would be green? Do you want to see other stuff? Do you want to see cards? Card making? Um, yeah, what else? what else do you guys like to do for crafts? I really like these candles. These are having them upside down. In Chai, Thailand, in Chai Ming, floating lanterns set the night alight during the Yi Peng Festival. I think that would be pretty. I want to cut some of those out. I'll just cut a few of them out. And we'll stick them. And we'll stick them. I want the bone here somewhere. And that will cover up some of the nuns. They won't mind. Oh, there's something on the other side of that too. That was yellow. Oh, that was the other side of the virus thing. Whatever that was. A cell or something. Stick that on there. All right, what else do I have? I really like the texture of this corn too. This was a, some farm. I think I'm getting pretty full. Get some smaller images. Um, that, this yellow kind of flag in here, maybe we'll cut that out. Again, it doesn't have to make sense. It's just gluing things down. This kind of reminds me, I, ha I know I have some butterfly stamps I haven't used in a while. I should pull those out. And I know I have some really cool bird stamps to use as well. Um, that I need to use. Um, they're really fun to do watercolor. You'll put revolution on there. So 
yellow writing. Yellow word no, that'll cover that white spot up pretty good. And see, just as simple as like this little warning sign. It's yellow. So let's cut that out. Doesn't have to make sense. Just has to be yellow. Yellow today. It's funny whenever I'm preparing images, I end up finding other colors. So it took me a while to find some yellow things because I ended up finding more green things this time. Um, let's see. There's some yellow things on here. There's a little planet. I think I'll cut out this Wonderland Yellowstone. I don't know why. It's just because it's yellow. There we go. I have to start thinking of green for St. Patrick's Day too. Find some, got to do some cards. I have a blog post coming up for Scrap and Stamp on the 20th and I got that project done this weekend which was really nice and the project I did for that was this fun journal. I'm not going to show it all. You have to wait and see the rest of it um, on my video but that was fun to do. Oh look at this little turtle. He's so cute. I always like learning about this. So this is Blanding's turtle. I won't say the the um what is it? Ita not Italian. The what's the dead language? Not Italian. Oh my goodness! I can't even think anymore. Um, so his size. He's a carapace length, 15 to 28 centimeters. Wow! This little guy can weigh 1.7 to 3.1 pounds. He's just tiny. Habitat: swamps, marshes, ponds, and slow-moving streams and surviving number is unknown and he's in Canada in the United States this poor little guy we're taking away his little habitat well I'm sorry that we're doing that and I'm going to take away your little flowers from your picture here I love watching the National Geographic channel I recently got Disney Plus just for that I mean I love Disney movies I'm a huge Disney fan I collect all the movies but I really like National Geographic Channel. I like to learn things. Uh, I feel like flowers need to be over. <laughs> Getting some glare so it's kind of hard for me to see. Um, I want these flowers on here. Where am I going to put them? I guess right there. Those nuns can have some flowers too. They've got chips, why not flowers? It's looking like a hot mess. All right, I kind of have one more piece here sitting by me and it's got, look at this, this is so cute. This is in Manhattan, a sticky note heart affixed to an office window is a timeless symbol of life in New York. Where's the sticky note? I don't see the sticky note. That must've been on the other page. Um, and this is for the gay rights. Look at all those colors. I love it. It's so pretty. So let's cut out. There's a yellow on there. Do I want to cut out a balloon? Yeah, let's cut out a balloon. I could even add a balloon to my red page. Cut out a fun balloon. See? Just little images stuck here and there. We'll put the balloon up over here. Again, doesn't have to make sense. Just having fun. Alright. Now that I've made a mess everywhere. My fingers are all sticky and gluey. Oh, I like this. Didn't use this guy. I want to stick that little on there. I don't know what that is. Some sort of sprout. 
doesn't look like a pumpkin, but some sort of vine. I don't know what kind of plant that is. Let's see on the other side. Oh, this is a caterpillar or something on the other side. That's kind of weird. All right, let's cut this little yellow thing out. Again, it's got some cool texture to it. All right, so let's think about what inspired me today. So I know I have, this has made me think of my butterfly stamps and my, my bird stamps. Oh, I have a really fun under the sea stamp set from Lawn Fawn I could use. This page is pretty busy. Um, what else? I could use some birthday balloons cards. I have some fun, um, oh, I'll give you a sneak peek. I have some fun um, stamps, wild, wild, um, da, 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 da. yeah, wild animal stamps. I'll give you a sneak peek. So I have this stamp set here that I can use the elephant. A little wild about you. So I can use that stamp set again for like a birthday card. Maybe have the elephant holding some balloons. What else? I have, um, actually the lights remind me of this Shine Bright stamp set from Concord and Ninth that I can use. Um, what else? I have some fun bee stamps that I haven't used in a while. The bee's knees, as my dear friend Derek likes to say, you're the bee's knees. I can make some bee's knees cards because those are fun. Actually, today is his birthday. I should make him a bee's knees birthday card. That would be nice and thoughtful of me to do. Um, what else? A little kayaker. I have some really fun flowers that I haven't used. And they are from, I think that's Concord and Ninth as well. I could use some of those. So again, yeah, this is just a little exercise that I like to do just to do something to be creative, like not really creating a masterpiece here, but just pulling out different images. And it reminds me of different stamp sets or techniques that I can use and things that I haven't pulled out in a while. So this was definitely productive again. It reminded me of several different stamp sets. And I think maybe what I'll do for my next live is maybe I will do that project with my alcohol inks. I really like this flower too. Can I get it on there? Uh, I don't think I can. Oh, well, maybe I can up here. Um, yeah, so maybe my next project, if you guys like, I'll do my alcohol inks and I'll try and create that image that I had in my mind using that one picture doing all the different kind of yellows and oranges and then making it look like trees. Do that. All right, well, I'm just about done here, guys. Glue this last flower on. We'll take a look at it. So I like that it's got Yellowstone, Revolution, the nuns in the background, the Lord is my helper. Because of you, all these different animals. I always seem to have one page that's more animals. That's kind of funny how that works out. That elephant, I really like how they painted him up. A little virus in the background. Yeah, that's kind of fun. So just a quick and simple exercise. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on my little yellow creative journey as I was all dressed in yellow today. And yeah. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and yeah, stay tuned and I'll do that next project for the alcohol inks. All right. Have a fabulous day, guys. Take care. And eh, P.S. I love you. <laughs>